Good afternoon, friends. Today I'm visiting Igor to test an electric car. The company is very often approached by people with the purpose of converting a gasoline car into an electric car. So I thought, why not drive around and see for myself and talk to people who have already done it? Here is this unique Lada Lada car of serious production with a serious production motor, but the motor has been rewound to Slavanka. This electric car is from a very small series produced by Aftervaz in 2013. It has an induction traction motor from the factory. I drove about 40,000 kilometers on it, in stock as it was, after that I started to upgrade it. The traction motor was rewound using the technology of combined windings. The controller and all electronics were adjusted to it. The traction battery was also replaced. The traction battery that is now installed is 26 kilowatt hours on cattle cells. The native battery was 22 kilowatt hours. The mileage was about 130-150 kilometers. I decided to do a deep modernization and first of all the electric motor fell under this case. So the electric motor was rewound to a combined winding in the laboratory of Sovalmash and it was installed on this electric car. But in order to get the maximum efficiency I had to put a different controller and some of other nodes as well. And at the same time I had to adjust the whole thing very precisely, all elements among themselves. After the modernization I was convinced that the electric car became much more efficient and the driving range increased actually two times. In normal mode consumption was 85 watt hours per kilometer. I drove 238 kilometers one way and I still had about 40 kilometers of range. That is with the highway speed of 70, 80, 90, well, in the city it can be 40, 50, 60. That is the usual normal mode of driving. In the traffic jam mode, that is, if you drive slowly in traffic at a speed of 5 or 10 km per hour, the consumption is that of an electric bicycle, something like 300 watts. And in the test mode, as we tested the Korean Ionic in its time, we calculated that about 400 kilometers can be driven on it, on this battery, with a consumption of about 56-65 watt hours per kilometer. We drove here those 12 kilometers city highway without cooling system, it was turned off. And we drove up here, we touched the controller and hoses near the motor where it was possible. Everything is cold. And if it is plus 40 in the summer will be about plus 50 on the motor, so we don't need to turn on the cooling system. Well, it is not necessary. Well, this motor has a cooling system. But after rewinding it to the combined winding Slavanka, you do not use the cooling system. I use it sometimes. But basically I just made it, that's why it works. But I may not use it. As you've seen for yourself, everything is cold. Well, okay, let's do the tests, shall we? Let's do it. Here we are now on the road. I don't feel it's an electric car at all. It behaves just like a normal gasoline car. What's the difference? Well, the only difference is that there is no engine noise. There is no bang, bang, bang. A lot of people like a bang, 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 but who don't like it? Well, we can make it ourselves. You can just drive and say bang, bang yourself. It accelerates very quickly from a standing start. Literally up to 60 in several seconds. And now I didn't even press the pedal at all, just a little bit. It's using about 13 kilowatts now, going uphill. It's about 40 kilowatts. That's a pretty powerful motor for sure. It's a good road, you can feel it. Now you realize that the car is electric, because the sound is very pleasant. It's just the sound of the road. Yes, you can only hear the noise of the wheels. A new charger has been installed. Now the charger is on top and it's not afraid of any rain, nothing. This is DC, this is our converter. High voltage, 14 volts to recharge 12 volt batteries and music lights and everything else works from it. That's the battery box in the front. 
That's a small battery. Everything else is standard. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the motor. It is hidden deep. Hello, everyone. Today I had the opportunity to participate in a wonderful review of electric cars. I myself am a big fan of electric cars. I am in awe of them. I previously had a leaf with a range of 100 to 120 kilometers. It is a 2018 car. It has a 40 kilowatt battery. It is enough for 250 kilometers of range in summer and something like 200 in winter. The fact that it has 40 kilowatt hours and we have 26 kilowatt hours, you know, actually the mileage is actually the same on full charge. How fast are we going now? 60 or 70. That's great. We are still going uphill. Guys, it's 80 already. I'm not accelerating. I'm just cruising along like I always do. What's your consumption now? It's the same consumption, it hasn't changed. It's 13 kilowatts. So it's the same whether it's 60 or 90. Well, I've reset here. Now I'm going down a hill with 90. And the consumption has dropped. It's about 6.5 or 7 kilowatts. I'm going to try to check the car dynamics and my feelings. I pressed on the pedal and it's instantly 90. That's interesting. I won't say that my Mini Cooper is faster. I'm even a bit scared. That's awesome. Look, this is the first time I've driven an electric car and I'm impressed. We are doing over a hundred. We are. It's very, very exciting. Let's try the brakes. Well, the braking system is just the normal braking system. Igor, does it have ABS? Yes. 60. 80. 90. That's great. Up to 90 the dynamics are great. Now you drop the pedal and you are just rolling. I've dropped the pedal and it has... Well, it was driving and it is still driving the same. It's rolling. But it's going downhill. By the way, uphill it wasn't worse. It was pretty much the same thing. Guys, it's brilliant. It is. The Mini Cooper accelerates in 8 seconds to 100. This one is not worse. The dynamics up to about 75 km per hour. Well, it's just like a bullet. Then it starts to weaken a little bit. It's economical. You can see it on the board. When you are driving in a light mode, you see on the board that it doesn't consume that much of energy. Of course, when it's 60, it's not comparable to a bike. You know, it can be 2 or 3 kilowatts. It's fine, it's good consumption. Today we reviewed Elada. A great car. And what did we find surprising? Here is this leaf, a 2018 car. The echelon of the Japanese automobile industry with a 150 horsepower motor. To electric cars, they basically go over the same distance. Here we have 40 kilowatts, and here we have 26. For modernization, we have a lot of things to do. You can still increase the battery up to 40 kilowatt hours on modern banks. You can increase the mass of the electric car by 30 or 40 kilograms. And we can get 400 or 500 kilometers. By installing a higher voltage controller, we can get the dynamics up to 200 kilometers per hour, because here the power reserve of this electric mode is very large. At its peak, it can produce 150 kilowatts, maybe more. That is, I charge it and drive all week around the city in the suburbs and then 
I do it until the next weekend, until the next charge. And for all this, I spent 24 kilowatt hours and we multiplied by the cost of electricity, it's nothing at all. You don't have to change the brake pads, they last forever. It's regenerative braking. There is no oil in the motor, there are two bearings. Oil in the gearbox is changed once every 60,000, half a liter, that's it. There is also an idea to test this electric car only from solar energy. That is, disconnect the battery, put a 300 watt solar panel on the roof. You can drive during the whole sunny day. I have so many impressions. I like the economy mode. I saw with my own eyes when we were driving at 50 km per hour, consumption was 3 amperes. That is approximately up to 300 watts. It takes your breath away when the car just accelerates and it goes up to 70 km per hour, it's just accelerating. I loved it a lot as a consumer. Yes, of course, cars should be modernized. Thank you very much for your attention. Everything was great. I wish you a lot of love and health. Goodbye.